Greetings, friend. Timberlake here. I got a great puzzle for you. This is called There's Something Missing by Kinlux. Highly recommended from the Discord server. I want to solve this for a couple months, but I hadn't reached out to Kinlux before. Thank you, Kinlux, for letting me solve your puzzles on this channel. Kinlux says this is one of the proudest creations. Had some help from Jovial. It should be a very fun solve. Uh, Difficulty-wise, it's mostly rated a 3 out of 5 for difficulty. But it got five reviews for being an exceptional puzzle, three for being beautiful, five for being uh, having beautiful logic, and even had uh, inventive and mind-blowing uh, comments. And with that, it's solving time. So I expect it to be a pretty hard puzzle, so I am going to show all the candidates to start off with. And looking across, what do I see? Uh, I'm going to be looking for, you know, naked, hidden singles and just kind of scan across the rows to see if anything jumps out at me. Now I'm looking in row three. Let's see there. Let's go to row four. Uh, and I'm just kind of scanning across to see if I can get any naked, hidden singles here. Uh, and first I scan like the one, twos, and threes. Then I scan the fours and fives and sixes and then come around to seven, eights, and nines and not see anything uh, being given to me just yet. Also, you can kind of point out pairs and triples, pointing pairs, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't see anything that I that's really revealing itself at this time. Um, so I'm going to go right to candidates. Wow, what an interesting looking uh, display you have there. Uh, you notice how the grid's set up. It's so, like there's a lot of symmetry going through, but it's not completely symmetrical. But I gotta think with this, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then a five. Um, oh, we have a finned jellyfish. Wow. Okay. All right. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. One, two, three, four, one, two. So you're looking at four. In this case, I see columns, four columns, where the candidate, in this case a one, is limited to the same four columns and the same same four rows. And then you, and so I will color that the color I use for my, uh, 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 you know, when I'm looking at four candidates. And then you have what's the, called the fin, right? So either the fin is true, and these can't be ones over here, or the fin's false, and you have a jellyfish and with a jellyfish it means that the ones are restricted in this row too they're going to be restricted to one of these four spots uh, otherwise you'd break the puzzle and so what i'm telling you is that that can't be a one and that can't be a one so that's an eight and that's a nine neat uh i don't know if i even saw the fin jellyfish before but it really jumped out at me by the way it was designed in this puzzle cool very cool all right, anything else I can do with the ones right now? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. All right, let's go to the twos. Oh, I have now a naked single two right there. And can't solve any more of the twos. And I am going to kind of see if I can make an easy solve, I'll make that solve. Try not to rely too much on the candidates. To give me the answers here. Okay, look at the threes. And look in here. You know, one, I see. Uh, I don't think I can solve anything with the threes just yet. Let's look at the fours. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, this extra down there. One, two, can't really solve anything with that just yet. Let's go to the fives. And five, five. Okay, I'm, right now I'm kind of. Oh, we have a pointing pair, so you see these fives point here, so that can't be a five. And just looking to see if there's other, you know, fives I can point out. I don't see any more at this time. Let's go to the sixes. Okay, you got a pointing pair of sixes. I mean, really, you have like an, you can call it an X-wing or a pointing pair. 
Either way, this is, with this pointing pair, that can't be a 6. Okay? And let's go to 7s. All right, you got another pointing pair of 7s, so these can't be 7s right here. Or, or you can say there's a claiming pair of 7s. Either way, those can't be 7s. What else is this puzzle giving me? I am looking... Oh, a 1, 7, 1, 7, so that means this has to be a 6. Uh, I didn't see that before. And you can get rid of all these other 1s and 7s. You see how that's a, uh, a naked pair? Which means that's a 5, that's a 4, that's an 8, that's a 9. Uh, I'm not sure how long that was there. Uh, 1, 2, 5, triple, so that means that has to be a 9. And 3, 4, and 7. So it's really starting to, to come apart. We solved so much. Really just that thinned swordfish, or jellyfish, really, really brought it together. Okay, it's so all that 5, 9, uh, 4. And I'm just looking now for, for naked singles. You see how the, I love puzzles like this where it just, you know, they just start falling apart. So the 1, 2, 1, 2 means this has to be a 3. That has to be an 8. And you still have the 1, 7 here. And I, now I'm looking to see uh, if there's something else I can solve real quick. I don't see it. Oh, 1, 7 and 1, 7. So that means that has to be an 8. Uh, 1, 7, 1, 7. This is now a naked pair. I can get rid of all the ones and sevens coming down. Column five. Wow, wow. And one seven one seven. Yep. Okay. Very cool puzzle. Cool design. Because it didn't look that easy to start with. Especially when I couldn't really solve anything without finding that thin jellyfish. Oh, you can single nine right there. Okay. And I'm just kind of scanning through. Okay, I do see a one three seven triple. I'll just point that out. Since that's a one three seven, this can't be a three. That has to be a two. And then there was also a hidden single five right there. Either way, you know, whatever you do to, to, to see those, I just wanted to point out that I saw the triple first. Uh, five one and a two. One four one four three four three four three seven three seven means this has to be a five. And 3737 three, also means that this has to be a 4, and that's a 1. 7, 1. I think this is going to be a pretty quick solve because uh, this is, looks like I've uh, cracked the puzzle. Really, really cool design. I love how that one piece of logic you find makes this whole puzzle unravel. Uh, Kilix, I, I, love, I love the design, I like the way it worked out. Uh, yes. It's a little easier for me when I can show the cannons like that to, to point out what I see. But you also still have to understand how a fin sword or a fin jellyfish works. And luckily we did a few pointing pairs in there and uh, then finding naked pairs and then that was it. Uh, great puzzle. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Did you try to solve this on your own? If so, did you get stuck or were you able to solve it? Put your time in. I'd love to hear about it. In the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Smart Hobby so you miss any new content. Uh, something else I want to point out, I am going to start doing some YouTube collaborations more than just featuring puzzles from setters. You might see some setters and solvers on my channel solving some puzzles or talking about their puzzles. And you also might see me on some other channels. Stay tuned. I'm very excited about it. That'll be in the very near future. In the meantime, don't forget to check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you so much for watching.